The National Industrial Court this past week dismissed a suit filed by the Academic Staff Union of Universities to challenge the registration of two trade unions in the university sector, the Congress of University Academics and the Nigerian Association of Medical and Dental Academics, as who had approached the court following the decision of the federal government to register Konwa and Namda, apparently to force the issue probably with the intention of breaking the monopoly of ASU after last year's prolonged strike. In his judgment last Tuesday, President of National Industrial Court, Justice Benedict Kanyip, said that Section 27 of the Trade Union Act allows for more than one trade union in employment. Joining us now to look at this situation in prospect is Akugbe J. Osayede, a lawyer who represented one of the newly approved unions, NAMDA, in the case. He joins us now from Arise News, London Studios. Good morning, uh, Mr. Osayede. Good to have you join us from London. A very good morning to you, sir. Thank you. Uh, well, talk to us about the significance uh, of this judgment, which of course favors uh, the union that you represented um, uh, during, the, during the suit in question. Uh, is this essentially about the Section 27 of the Trade Union Act, which allows um, for more unions to be represented? Or is this about the federal government winning and succeeding to whittle down the powers and the influence of ASU? Talk to us about the significance of it. Thank you very much. The, in the very first place, there were four parties to this suit. Two of the first parties, the first and second defendant, they were the minister, the registrar of trade unions. So those, uh, my colleague, uh, they were ably represented in the court by uh, my very senior colleague, Igwe S.A.N. I represented the fourth defendant, NABDA. So the significance of the judgment will be as uh, the, the, it is what individuals, what they got from the judgment on the part of the government, maybe how you introduce this topic, it may be in that respect, breaking the monopoly of ASU. But on the part of NAMDA, it was quite, it is significant in several respects. It is significant in several respects, different from that, uh, the issue of whether or not ASU's monopoly is broken in the university system. This is the point that I will be starting from. Now, the training of the, the medical and dental student to become the professional of their dream is, uh, it straddles the Ministry of Education, which the university is under, and the tertiary head institutions around the country because the training of the medical and dental student is first preclinical, then the clinical. So these trainees, they happened, they happen in the federal government controlled university in many cases. State university controlled, these are the areas where ASU function in the university. But the, the Post clin the clinical itself happen in the uni in the tertiary health institutions, most times managed by Federal Ministry of Health. So the doctors, they call them hospital consultants, who are in those places, they have never been part of the union ASU that train university students. So this, this became an opportunity for the, all these persons that train the medical and dental student in Nigeria, both the, 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 at the first degree level up to uh, the MBBS and of course the post MBBS, then of course the, uh, uh, the tertiary degrees that, they, they, that the medical doctor obtains. 
They are not, they don't, all of them don't happen in the university. And they are handled by persons who were hitherto not under the union ASU. So the, the, the NAMDA has come to bring them together so that they become a union to effectively chart their course, particularly in having a system that guarantee optimal, timely training of the Nigerian dental medical student. Okay. All right. Well, I'd like for you to help us understand further, uh, besides what you have just mentioned, the benefit of these uh, federal government trade unions, um, CONWA and NAMDA, which you say that, you know, will help to create that uh, a union for medical and dental um, students. Now, while we understand that the move also is to break ASU's uh, monopoly of unionism in our university and further facilitate negotiations to avoid future strikes. Um, the National Industrial Court um, of Nigeria last month um, had upheld a no work, no pay rule um, by the federal government um, in his suit filed by, um, against ASU. Now, how can that um, union or which union would help in facilitating those types of negotiations because, you know, a court has already ruled on that no work, no pay aspect. The issue of no work, no pay affects everybody that was uh, in the university, particularly under, the, um, under when ASU held sway as a single body. And our clients, members of NAMDA, I don't think they are immune. They were not immune because they were all on strike at the level of those in the university. Like I said, you have if, uh, some, some members of NAMDA who are university lecturers and some members presently who are not, who've never been members of us. So those ones, they have no business with the issue of uh, whether the people went on strike because they did not go on strike. The, the, like you said, there are, now, there are now different platforms through which the federal government can negotiate. The, it is no longer a one-man show. It is no longer, if, uh, if the, with the, the tripartite nature of the union has, of the unions as they are now, perhaps the federal government will be able to, whichever, whichever amongst them the federal government is able to uh, break even with in terms of negotiation. Negoci negotiation is give and take. So it is, uh, I am sure that it will be much, much easier I incidentally, on the day of the judgment, I remember, I recall that uh, when uh, we were having also interview with uh, uh, NTA, I remember the president of uh, Kunua, he kept, he had already started talking about the fact that they were not, on, they did not go on strike, uh, quite a number of those, the arguments. They, those persons, they are much, much more formidable in addressing the issue as to what happened. Whatever I'm going to tell you here will be what the lawyer says is hearsay. Uh, it's, uh, it's not much of the issue that we, that was in court, that I was involved with in court was not about uh, whether or not they were going to be paid or they are going, they are, they are the areas that happened. So I don't have uh, sufficient literature. I did not work with sufficient literature in the course of that case. All right, Mr. Osayende, uh, you made reference to the uh, coordinator who's now the president of Konoa, uh, that's Dr. Ni uh, Sumonu, and he has said uh, repeatedly uh, that yes, uh, the whole essence of this is about yes. liberalizing uh, the academic space uh, and to change the paradigm. Uh, I believe that he was probably speaking in terms of uh, if you take the example of South Africa, uh, about five uh, different unions representing, uh, you know, the academics and teachers. Uh, same, similar to that is in Ghana, where you have about four. Uh, you have said now that, you know, by law, 
we now have about three. Uh, my questions, just uh, two uh, at this point, is is this judgment final? Yes, it's the industrial court, but then is, is it final and binding on all part parties, or uh, is there a room for an appeal? And that's one. And then secondly, do you think uh, that both Konwa and Namda, Namda, which you, of course you represented, you know, uh, at the hearing, uh, will have the they may have the force of law, but would they have the moral authority? Uh, given the fact that a number of, of people who think that they are appendages of the federal government. So would they have the moral authority to lead and have sufficient members uh, that, can, that can give them legis legitimacy, if you like? Thank you. There are quite a number of issues here. Issue of finality, yeah. whether or not the judgment was final. The judgment, of course, the National Industrial Court is a, is a, first, is a court of first instance, so its judgment is not final. In, in quite a number of areas, quite a number of areas that are not, uh, appeal stops at the court of appeal, except in exceptional cases where you are raising the issue of jurisdiction, uh, quite a number of those that is. So we, we, the, there is, the parties have right to appeal to the court of appeal. But the beauty about about the judgment, about the judgment, I am quite confident that wherever that case is sticking to, NABDA would definitely continue to have the judgment in his favor. It was the if you have seen the judgment, the 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 we won that case or the party, the defendants. They won that case in several parameters. From the point of adjectival law, in terms of procedure that were procedure not, not properly followed uh, before ASU went to, they went to court, the party that they took to court, they took National Association of Nigeria Medical and Dental Academics, our client's name is, uh, is Nigerian, so they, they were, they, in terms of party, they, 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 that judgment, they, sorry, the case failed as to even the parties from the party from the point party perspective. And uh, what an English judge many years back said that in approaching a codified subject, the subject, the, the starting point it is, is the code itself. So the code, the law, recommend ways of. Uh, seeking remedies, all those remedies they were not followed, and they are time bound. So when you when they when ASU failed to follow those uh, those procedure laid down, so there was no way. They, it is it is it is highly highly difficult for us to uh, to think of how uh, they were they will be able to bring back that case. For example. There is a time limit within which to get to initiate the action. That time has passed. So if the, since that was not done, it is not expected that there is going to be a fresh suit against NAMDA. The time to do so having passed. So we believe that, yes, the judgment in terms of the layers of courts that can do that matter is not final. But we are confident that they, 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 it is difficult for anybody to reopen that case. Then coming to the fact, uh, the issue that you talked about, legitimacy and uh, of, the, of the bodies. That was why I talked about, the, uh, started with the fact that NAMDA, NAMDA, the issue of a, a government using the using the the strike or the the, intra, the long strike uh, it was only catalytical it was really not the that was not what brought namda it was just that we could not the the court did not get to having to review the literature when asu because it was just a, a, a narrow area, whether or not the, whether the, the government could register other bodies. 
the, the case that we built about the fact that Lambda is not operating within one, the, the university system. That is why I, I told you that Lambda has its members straddles the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Education as per those who are lecturers employed by the universities. So there are university consultants, sorry, doctors who lecture in the clinics, and they are not members of us, so they've not been unionized. So they have a big place to harvest their members. They have a big place to, to, to where their legitimacy will not be questioned. Because this, and they also have their, 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 the, the, quite a number of things, number of issues. For example, when a medical doctor is employed as a lecturer too, he starts from grade level 10. And that does not exist in the, medic, in the health sector. No doctor is employed on level 10. So when a doctor is employed as a teacher, he is downgraded. And they, right. NAMDA, they have argued that with ASU that is not supposed to be. All so right. there are a lot of things that have been that will, that will aid their momentum in uh, work, uh, working. All right. We'd like to thank you very much for joining us on the morning show this morning.